up, Sneaky Nation? Sneak B here, back with all the news after week four of our Columbus Aviators franchise in year number five as the Aviators just picked up a victory over their division rival, the Houston Texans. Next up, we have the Denver Broncos, a team that was really doing well last year. Right now, they only sit at 2-2, two and two, though. It's going to be interesting to see what happened there. But let's go ahead and get moving forward. It was an interesting game, man. Offensively, our team put up a lot of points against a pretty solid Texans defense. Our defense, however, really dropped the ball. The other team's quarterbacks are passing all over us. Once again, Dalton Crosby proved to be uh, an injury-riddled quarterback. You know, we have seen this since he has come into the league. He gets injured quite frequently, and Blake Blake had to step in. And once again, Blake Blake played, uh, played pretty well against our defense, but... Changes might need to be made, man. We cannot allow quarterbacks to pass the ball all over our team like they were in that game. And it's something that might need to be addressed, you know. I'm really kind of considering promoting Denard Jackson, who has been a little better in coverage for Bradley Roby, who has struggled this season. I mean, he struggled last season too, but he also made some big plays for us. I'm not going to make that change quite yet, but it is something I'm considering. It's something we have to look at. Roby has kind of dropped the ball in coverage so far this season and uh, Jackson you know he has allowed a few catches but every time we've seen him allow a catch he has been right there um, and just you know the the wide receiver had to make it a ridiculous catch to make the play either way we do have some concerns I'm still going to go and adjust sliders a bit more man I want I like it's it's too easy to score at the moment I don't know what's going on I keep making it more difficult and nothing seems to be playing out that way at the moment. Um, I know our team's good. I want our team to be good. I want our record to reflect that. However, I, I want more of a challenge than we have seen. I really do. I really do. I don't know what's going on there. But hopefully this will make some kind of difference, I guess. Uh, well, they, they threw the ball all over us. Um, pass blocking, I will move that up for him. We did only get one sack last week, but I didn't adjust it previously, and we had been getting a lot of sacks prior to that. So let's go ahead and move their run blocking up too, um, and hopefully make it a little more difficult to, to throw the ball against them. I don't know. I might be adjusting it way too much now. I don't know, but really, I, I we need more of a challenge. We need to. It has to be that way, guys. Um, you know, I want there to be more excitement in the games, and I, I know the Patriots game definitely came down to the wire, it went to overtime, but we need to make something happen, I, I feel like. Get a bit more of a challenge. We'll see how it all plays out, though. Uh, and if that's too much, we can adjust it back a bit, but there does need to be some more uh, give and take, I feel like. Uh, DeMarco Murray, 22 carries, 4.5 yards, a rush, 3 rushing touchdowns for him. Glover Quinn with eight tackles and the interception, two fumbles forced and a fumble recovered. Smith with nine tackles, two sacks, a fumble forced and a fumble recovered. And then Andrew Luck, 28 of 39, 431 yards, four passing touchdowns for him. Despite a great week from Tyson Russell, he is not going to make it on that list. However, we will go check out the stats from around the league now. So let's do that. I figured we'd wait four weeks to do it. Um, and so that's obviously going to be a uh, glitch stat a little bit. But Max Austin, 1,300 yards leading the way. Ralph, number two. Broussard coming in at number three. Uh, Tyson Russell, number four. Garoppolo with the Steelers now at number five. Joe Flacco at six. Russell Wilson, seven. Nate Keller, eight. Adrian Patrick at nine. And Andy Dalton at 10. Passing touchdowns. Tyson Russell leading the way with 13. He has four interceptions there. Max Austin right behind him with 12. Only three interceptions for him. Josh Broussard, 11. But he has thrown six interceptions this season. Garoppolo, nine and one. Ralph at eight and one. Rushing yards, Le'Veon Bell, 82 carries, 435 yards, 5.3 yards a carry. Jeremy Hill with 5.3 yards a carry as well. 4.9 for C.J. Anderson, 4.7 for Bishop Sankey, currently fourth in the NFL in rushing yards. Melvin Gordon at five, Eddie Lacy, six, C.J. Spiller, seven, Gio Bernard coming in at number eight there. Rushing touchdowns, we got six for Trey Mason, making it happen to Marco Murray with five, as well as James Talbot, a rookie out of Michigan State with five, Doug Martin, five with the Bengals, and Centennial Woods with five as well. A few players listed with four, and uh, quite a few down here with three as well. Receiving the ball, Mike Evans leading the way with 28 catches, 27 for Brown, 25 for Bryant and Alshon Jeffrey. 24 for Brandon LaFell and A.J. Henry. 
DeAndre Hopkins, 23, go down more 23s. Continue to scroll down list. Curtis Harden coming in at 22. Uh, receiving touchdowns, Odell Beckham Jr. with five and Curtis Harden with five. Getting back on that list as a premier wide receiver for the Aviators. Mike Evans with four, A.J. Henry four, Martavius Bryant with four, Golden Tate, uh, we got a lot of guys with four, including Deshaun Young there, the fourth year pro out of USC for the Vikings, as well as Spencer Tracy, the second year pro for uh, out of Tennessee there. Moving forward, let's go ahead and check out defense. Uh, Kirksey leading the way with 57 tackles, 51 for Perry Riley Jr., CJ Mosley 48, Donald Butler 46, Mayo with 46 as well, sacks. We got five for Luke Keekley and Michael Bennett. Four and a half for uh, Corey Lugit here. Four for Brian Arakpo. And quite a few guys listed with three. Three for Ryan Shazier. However, Derek Morgan only down at 2.5. We have not done as good of a job getting pressure on the quarterback. I guess with one player, we've done a good job. We send a lot of blitzes. I don't know if you guys noticed that, but we've been blitzing quite a lot. And, uh, you know, our, our sacks are going around a little bit more than just Derek Morgan. Uh, Tavante White with four interceptions, the second-year pro from Georgia. I believe he had an outstanding rookie season for the Steelers as well. Three for Luke Keekley, including five sacks for him. Uh, and then we're going to have quite a few players listed here with two, including Tyrone Stevens. Now, he has dropped a few interceptions as of late. Um, he really could have four or five interceptions right now had he not dropped some gimmies. I don't know what happened there. Maybe we need to improve, uh, improve his interception rate more. Uh, Glover Quinn with three fumbles forced. Go, go down the list a little bit. Frank Clark. I thought that was Frank Gore for a second. Does that not somewhat look like Frank Gore if you're just glimpsing at it? I feel like it does. I could be wrong, though. Uh, fumbles recovered. Steven Tolick with two. Oh, we got that glitch there. Blocks. Uh, Alan Bailey with the block. Safeties, no safeties. Touchdowns. Uh, Josh Norman, Justin Gilbert, Morgan Burnett. It's going to scroll through kind of quickly here. And uh, there's Eric Reed and Earl Thomas III down there. Uh, kicking, we have just had bad luck this season. Remember, Mason Johnson did really well last year. This year, not so much. The struggles continue, much like it did his rookie season. Uh, last year, you know, he really played outstanding for us. But right now, he's only sitting at 6-10 and 10 punting. Kevin Huber leading the way. 24 punts for him. 47.3 per punt. Uh, kick returns, we're checking out touchdowns, and Darian Adams, the rookie out of Ohio State for the Browns with two there, Ty Montgomery with one, Kevin Hunter with one, Otis Locke, and Stacolian Lewis out of Tennessee, the rookie for the Dolphins with one as well, punt returns for a touchdown, Eduardo Jose, we know all about him from previous seasons, and Albert Wilson leading the way there, next up we have to check out the lineup for the Denver Broncos here as well as their injury report let's go ahead and do that really quick see what's going on in Denver and go down a bit here Denver oh I'm looking up the Broncos I was looking up Denver I don't know what I was doing all right so Trent Williams their 93 left tackle out for the remainder of the regular season that is a huge blow to their team Jonathan Stewart out as well for nine weeks Mike Martin, their left end out with a dislocated ankle for three more weeks. And then Cortez Allen, a 75 overall cornerback, is out as well for six more weeks. They have been bitten by the injury bug. Luckily for us, the Aviators have avoided it so far this season with anything serious. We've had a few little minor injuries here and there, but nothing noteworthy really that's kept them out for a lot of weeks. Uh, so here we go, Ralph. Still making it happen for him. Colin Kaepernick going to be the backup there. And then Dustin Vaughn at running back. Jonathan Dwyer taking over with Stewart out. TJ Yeldon there as well with Danny Woodhead at fullback. Blake Farmer, the second year pro from Wisconsin. Ruben Randall, their number one wide out with Doug Baldwin. Percy Harvin, we saw he had a really good week a few weeks ago. Derek Buchanan and Nick Toon at tight end. Martellus Bennett, 93 overall, and Jermichael Finley, 84, with Spaeth behind both of them. Left tackle, their replacement, a 73 right tackle moving over, Dom Barclay at left guard, Glowinski. Center, they have Foltkertz. Uh, right guard, Riley, and at right tackle, Pamphile, I believe. Uh, left in, Jason Jones. 
and that's where Martin is out for them. Uh, Hankerson going to be at right end, a 90 overall, fourth year pro, 6'5", 291. Justin Ellis at defensive tackle there. Left outside linebacker Vaughn Miller, still one of the best defenders in the NFL with Brandon Marshall, still his sidekick there. Terawan Miller going to be the backup and middle linebacker. Right outside linebacker Preston Smith at cornerback Chris Harris Jr., Aqib Tlaib, Ramon Curse out of Notre Dame, a rookie there and Kelvin Parker so outside of their top two guys there's a huge drop off in talent and that is a big thing for the injury of Cortez Allen we might be able to make something happen with Sean uh, Sutton going up against Ramon Curse there at free safety Le'Veon Conley a rookie out of Auburn 81 overall Cooper Taylor going to be this back up there and strong safety Shamarco Thomas Still making it happen for that defense. Still a very solid defense there in Denver. Bringing over Blair Walsh. Hopefully we get down to a kicking situation in this game. I kid. He's actually a really good kicker. I know. I know. Um, Going to be a very good matchup. I don't know why they are 2-2. Two and two. They certainly look better to me. But of course they have some injuries that they have to deal with. And especially at cornerback. They are a little bit thin there. So maybe teams are exploiting that. I know Tyson Russell is certainly looking to do that. That is going to be it for today's news video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in week five as we take on the Denver Broncos. Later.